Ah, oh, very good morning to you, my hearties. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's 10 o'clock sharp on Monday morning. Scotty McClue with you for one hour today of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. Lovely to have you with us. Spread the word, of course. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that we are live big style. And dinky do to every single one of you. Zai Kai Tang, Stephen Mooney. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And a very dinky do to you from me, Scotty McClue, on a very wild and blowy morning. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, tell 10 to tell 10. Spread the word that Scotty McClue is live. The world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, Kelvin Allen, has joined us. Welcome, Kelvin. Lovely to have you with us, Kelvin. Excellent stuff. Good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful Glenn Peacock down in Sheffield there. Isn't it great that it brings us all together during lockdown? Hands across the sea, I say. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Spread the word, though. Make sure you get this message out there because because that's what it's all about. Good morning, Glenn. I hope you are well. And dinky do, I say, from me, Scotty McClue. Monday morning, nothing gets past me, of course. And what I think we'll do, we'll do an hour this morning, and then we'll do an hour tonight. How about that, Finlay Morris? Get long shanks and tam up. Excellent stuff. Good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful David Taylor. Good morning, David. And hello, Scotty, says Kareem. Excellent, Kareem. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-doo. Well done for getting up on this wild morning, of course. You've got dogs, you see, so you have to be up. Hail, rain, or shine, I say. Excellent stuff. Get everybody up, Tam. Well done. Good stuff. We're an hour this morning and an hour tonight, if that's all right. Kareem says, David, yes, get him up. And good thanks, Scotty. Tell Mrs. McClue I said hi. I shall do. Yes, indeed. David Taylor, lovely to have you with us as ever. I'll just shout on the missus. Darling, Glenn says hi. Yes, Glenn from Sheffield. Yes, he lives in the Midlands now. That's the one. Yep. She says, hi, Glenn. No problem at all. John Marshall, up you get. Come on. Good morning, good morning. Yes, we're not here for the good of our health. We're here for the good of yours. Um, a good thanks, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. Lovely, lovely to have you all with us again. McGinty McGuinness. Now, a lot of people are going back to work during lockdown. Um, I'll only be able to do the mornings, obviously, until I have to disappear. But I think we'll keep the evenings going. What do you think? The world's most humble man's on. Well done, Thomas. Good for you. Yes, Scotty, yesterday the weather was something else. Lol. <laughs> the window is leaking in the living room. I think an insurance job. Oh, Kareem, yes, before it does in the carpets. Yes. Why are you only doing an hour, Scotty? Um, very max, Glenn. I had to clear the schedule to do an hour. So there you are, because people are all going back to work now. Not everybody, but uh, what I think we'll do if we can do an hour in the morning and an hour at night. I don't want to, to scrap it all together just because the lockdown's finishing. You know what I mean? So I think we're better with something rather than nothing. What would you say? So there we go. Do tell. Uh, dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, says Nicky Graham. Uh, McGinty McGinnis says to get up. Excellent stuff. Well done, Tam, for wakening the troops. That's what we like. Um, looks like we'll be back on Wednesday, Scotty. It's been a strange old time. Absolutely, David. But it's been a very good time for all of us to get to know each other on Scotty McClure's live streams. And uh, that's been a wee bit of a, a silver lining to the whole thing, if you could say that, you know. Scotty, thanks for coming on any time of your busy schedule. No, um, I think it keeps it fresh. And, um, you know, I think it is excellent. Good for you, Glenn. Yes, I think it keeps it fresh. And um, it gets it gives everybody a chance to come on and get a chat. And it eases us back into what, rather than saying, Scotty McClure on. No, that's all finished now. Lockdown's over. He's off. 
you know, that sort of idea, because it's too good a thing for us to give up, I think, at the moment. What do you reckon? There, good morning, says the wonderful Gordon Robertson. Gordon, we're just chit-chatting about the future of the uh, the live streams as people are going back to work. Nikki Graham says, dinky-doo, Willie Drysdale's watching. Dinky-doo, Willie. Excellent. And, of course, we are live streaming on YouTube uh, as well, but I thought I'd bring us both in, and then you don't get people going, oh, why are you not on Facebook? What are you doing on YouTube? I'm not on YouTube. Get yourselves on YouTube big style. That's what it's all about. Money, 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 money. We don't do. Uh, so there we are. Gordon, we're just discussing. Uh, Glenn, do you frequent Rotherham? Says Thomas. So there you are. Thomas, very interested in Yorkshire. What's on the agenda this week, Scotty Finlay? Busy, 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 busy time. But do you remember... Um, Oh, I've shared for you. Oh, Nikki, you're an angel. Thanks very much. Nikki Graham has shared. And tell 10 to tell 10. Um, do you remember I was saying, uh, somebody was telling me that you could get um, YouTube on your big telly. And um, they were telling me how to do it. Well, my sister sent me the equipment last night. And what a difference. You've got, it just changes your old telly, doesn't it? So there you are, and you had McLuhan, glorious Technicolor beard and all. I say, good morning, Gordon, we want to bring you into the debate on the future. Um, it's an hour this morning, and we'll do an hour tonight, and sort of try and do that for the future. How about that, rather than chuck the whole thing just because people are going back to work? So there you are. So every day I want your input because... This is our show. It's not Scotty McClue's show. It's not um, this yin's show or that yin's show. It's our show. Uh, that's the porridge going on. A wee dash of salt and some cold milk. Ah, what do we all put in our porridge, guys? Salt. So there we are. The wonderful Jane McDonald's watching. Good morning, Jane. Lovely to have you with us. David Cairns, dinky-doo, Jason Cunningham, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're also live streaming over on YouTube, and YouTubers, we're live streaming on Facebook. So there, just so that you know. Um, so the porridge is going on. What does everybody put in porridge? There's a bit of argy-bargy, that uh, salt or uh, sugar, honey, a knob of butter. That sort of idea. It's great having Scotty on the big screen. Nikki, I'd never believed it. I thought, well, it's just going to be the same as the small screen. But there I was in Technicolor. <laughs> and oh, all the YouTube stuff. Guys, YouTube, the future, I can tell you. You know, I mean, television, nothing to touch it. So subscription services, stuff on demand, Scotty McClue. That's the future of your telly. So there we go. Don't get down because Scott will close the future of your telly. Golden syrup, says Glenn Peacock. Very, very sweet. When I walked home from school, I used to pass the house where the man who started the golden syrup had lived. There we are. Huge big mansion we used to walk past. Wonderful stuff. You know, does anybody think this country's kind of getting on a bit of a shugly nail? All this coming out of Europe and things like that, bit dodgy. And the most senior civil servant, you know, resigning. Mm -hmm. uh, so there you are. You're on the big screen of my house just now, says David Taylor. David, what's it like? Because I noticed the uh, Facebook streams are there in portrait and the YouTubes are in landscape. Landscape's obviously better for the big telly, but very interesting. Do I sit too close? That was what I was wondering. There we go, Jason Cunningham. Welcome, welcome, Andrew Clark. A very, very warm welcome. Tell 10 to tell 10. So there we are. Anybody else got Scotty McClue on the big screen right now? What sort of results are we getting? Would this do for commercial television? Late night, Friday night, one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. Here's the wonderful Gordon Robertson. I make porridge, and Gordon's pretty spot on with stuff. I make porridge with milk, milk, 
salt, salt, sugar, sugar, and a knob of butter. Sometimes you syrup also discovered it's nice if made with almond milk. Anybody into the different milks? There's Gordon. Are you lactose intolerant, Gordon? Or do you just like almond milk? There we are. Anybody for the almond milk? I don't know that Rabbi Burns had too much almond milk on his porridge. They might have had goat's milk. You see, I told you the story about Robert the Bruce. So he was into the goat's milk. Very, very interesting. Uh, guys, this morning, now you'll not see this on Facebook. It'll be the wrong way around. But you'll be able to see that on YouTube. Anybody know where that is? The Festival Theatre. Yes, there we go. Fantastic. Landscape is bang on, says David Taylor. Excellent, David. I'm not lactose intolerant, but I'm intolerant of small portions. Yes, and you're intolerant of idiots, I've noticed, Gordon. Yes, <laughs> we all are getting a bit intolerant of the idiots that pop up. So, future schedule for Scotty McClure. Nikki says it's great having Scotty on the big screen. Good, good one, Nikki. You top lady. Fantastic. There we are. And um, it'll be quite um, slow this morning, guys, because a lot of people will be at work and a lot of people will be kipping in. Uh, they'll have looked out, you know, they'll have wakened up at about nine o'clock and said to their other half, what's the, what's the weather doing? Oh, dreadful. Ah, one back to bed. Well, I'll go down and make a wee cup of tea first. All that stuff I do, you know. Uh, so there we are. Uh, well done. Yes, you don't want too small a portions. When people say, do you have any um, dietary requirements? I say, yes, just make sure there's lots of food. <laughs> Gordon Roberts at the Festival Theatre Pit Lockery. But it could also be Edinburgh near Nicholson Square. No, Gordon Robertson. You are absolutely spot on. There we are. I was up there the year of launch. Pit Lockery. Festival Theatre, which will now be in something like its 39th season in the new theatre. Yes, 39th. I, I would imagine they'll have suffered during lockdown, bless them. But um, yes, extra chips, please, this Clen. <laughs> Edinburgh, near Nicholson Square, the festival theatre, you're so switched on, Gordon. Very, very switched on, man. Absolutely excellent. Well done. So there you are. Yes. But, um, and they will be, they started in 1948 with um, Kenneth Ireland. And, um, yes, so I'm trying to think. 1948. Um, so look at that. That's them 72 years. Gosh, and I met all these original people. Pit Lock, it's a lovely theatre. Fantastic. Well, it was built brand new. As you know, before that, it was the tent in Oakfield. So there you are. Was it Oakfield or Lower Oakfield? Love a gorgeous piece of crispy cod. What's your favourite piece of fish? Well, if it's out the chippy, we love a piece of cod. And they will have a piece of haddock. So very, very nice, lovely stuff. There we are. Scotty, have you seen the pictures of people queuing up because the shops are now open? One pound nickels and 50p socks is such a need. Yes, absolutely, Kareem. Yes, indeed. I must get some of those. So there we are. When you say one pound nickels and 50p socks, do they come as a single item? Do you put, do you put the two on together? <laughs> Sammy Stewart's joined us, Dinky do Andrew Clark, Sean McCrory, lovely to have you all with us, and Dinky do watching live stream on Facebook, and we're also streaming on YouTube, so there we are. Yes, I don't, uh, people queuing up for a bargain, you see, are they social distancing? I mean, who goes out on a very windy morning? You know, but I'll take some peppermints in a minute. Uh, you know, got to be some smoked haddock, Glenn. Anybody like Cullen skink as a soup? 
There we are. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks, Sammy. Morning and dinky do. Sammy or see me. Uh, you, you know, we've been through this before, I know, but you must remind the old fool what's happening. Karim, I assume you're talking about the pea shop. So there you go. Gordon Robertson, well done. Yes, very, very good editorial. Editorial control to Gordon Robertson. Stay safe, says the lovely Simi. John Marshall's watching. Ah, you're up and about, John Topman. That's what we like to see. Welcome to Scotty McClue. <coughs> New schedule, guys. We're doing an hour in the morning, an hour at night. How's that? Yes, seen that, Kareem. Totally unnecessary. Yes, I mean, why? There'll be plenty of merchandise. When people go back, listen. Remember that there's not been a thing sold, so the prices will have to come down. You know? I mean, they might creep up again at the pumps, but nobody's been filling up. Kedgeri is the biz. If you had it yesterday, it feeds the brain. Say me, you're quite right, and we need people on here to feed their brain, because they're watching Scotty McClure. Wonderful dinky too. Uh, yes, totally honest. I don't think there needs to be any rush to purchase things, you know. Um, so I got a text. Apparently you have to book to get your hair cut. It's a, it's a safety thing. Have you heard that? Back to work. Last week, it's torture. Well, you went back to work, or is this your last week, John? Yes, and is it torture going back to work? Absolutely, get back into the swing of it. People queuing at some shops from 5 a.m., says Joseph Aitken. Everybody needing new simmets and pants. Well, what's wrong with the ones you've got? You just sort of stay out the road for a day and put them through the wash. There we are, you know. I mean, it's not as if if you're self-isolating, it's not as if anybody's seeing your pants and going, you've got a wee hole in your knickers, by the way. People queuing up, well... Scotty, you know how many dafties on just now? Because uh, they'll all be asleep. Scotty, you won't have many dafties on just now. They're all asleep. They're all asleep, Karim. Haven't had a single dafty on today. Everybody watching is highly intelligent. David Lafferty, talking of highly intelligent. Good morning. Annie Donald, dinky do. John Marshall, it's torture being back. I missed my morning wine. <laughs> Are we clear? Are we clear wine, please? <laughs> I remember a pub in Port Glasgow, and I think it only sold wine. I think there was a beer font as well, maybe some lemonade, but it was clear and dark wine. So there we are. Uh, handy for the shipyards, Gordon Main. They were used to go up and they spoke with these lovely, rich voices. And they said things like, uh, uh, two gill of clear wine, please. Thank you. It was a gill. A quarter pint. <laughs> Gordon Main is watching Dinky Do Gordon. Lovely to have you with us and a warm welcome. People are starting to get up and go, oh, the clue's on. Oh, watch that. So there we are. Scotty, I will continue to cut my own hair for the moment. Many folks have said I have done a better job compared to the hairdresser. Kareem, you have. Do you remember when you Skyped and we asked, could we put it on video? And we showed the nation your haircut, your handiwork. It was excellent. It was virtually a baldy, though, if I remember. I think it was what the American sailors would have called a number one. <laughs> He's done a number one on his head. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? No, no, no. I wouldn't go there. Don't panic. Missed you last night. J Dog Gaming, how lovely to have you with us. Yes, I thought we'd take a wee break last night because I'd done 35 shows. This is number 36. And we also have to watch the old Thrapple. And what we're doing from today onwards, J Dog, an hour in the morning, an hour at night. That's all we can squeeze into the schedule. Is that all right with you? Notice I didn't say schedule, it's schedule. There we are. Did you do, Scotty? Do you like my comment I sent you yesterday? Robston Mary. That was a lovely comment. I thanked you. Did you see my response? So there we are. Hey, so no, no, I'm not just an athlete, you know. So there we are. Wonderful. Perfect, says J-Doc. 
Scotty, number one in the head. Lol, absolutely, Kareem. You notice I didn't finish my explanation. <laughs> what comes after that? Sturgeon expresses his relief at three days with no COVID deaths. Let's start racking up these days now. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Ms Sturgeon, Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland. Um, what dirty so-and-so did a number one on Kareem's head? Very lucky he didn't do a number two. Gordon Robertson, raise your game. I've just said I wouldn't go there. What a, what a naughty, naughty boy. Yes, there's always one. Hello, Robster, David and all, says the wonderful Kareem. They're a stop your nonsense. <laughs> Getting my kippers off the grill and two slices of plain bread. David Lafferty. Wonderful morning, Scotty. Morning, Jim McGeary. Lovely to have you back with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell 10 to tell 10. Can everybody share? Guys, we haven't shared a thing this morning. Come on. What on earth are we doing? We have not shared a blooming, a blooming thing. That is terrible. We are enfant terribles. <laughs> there we are. Excellent stuff. Right, let's get sharing. God in law, love it, says Karim. Wonderful you two, honestly. Honestly, I don't know. Let's all raise our game. <laughs> no number twos on the head. <laughs> yeah, a number one is very short, though. So there you go. A number two is a bit longer, I think. Is that right? Just the length of hair. Now, Gordon Robertson, stop. <laughs> Thank you, do, Scotty, says Stuart Hotton. Hotton or Houghton, Stuart? So there we are. When I worked in Lancashire, we had Hotton, we had Houghton, we had Hayton. You know, we had uh, all that stuff with Hutton. Oh, my goodness me. It was uh, it was quite a mouthful, I could tell you. So there we go. Right. Um, what's happening here? Anybody know? Who's in charge of this live stream? For goodness sake. <laughs> the industry has oh, been stop. Off the decade. Stop. Of there we go. Absolutely right. What's happening here? Oh, yes, I can see now. Sorry, had to have a wee geek round the corner there. Um, technically, I have a number one on the sides and number two on top. But let's say no more. Absolutely, Kareem. Let's you and I say no more. I can't vouch for Gordon. Gordon will always say a little bit more. And so there we are. Scotty just received a text message from a premium psychic saying i am aware of shocking information click here to get more information think i'll give it a miss yes sounds like a bit of click bait to me i mean i remember going into the news agents and i said do you have a copy of psychic news and the guy said well you tell me mm. david niggers think you do john bryce adamson how lovely to have you with us welcome 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 live streaming on Facebook Live, we are absolutely live. We joined at 10 o'clock this morning, and it's now 10.23, according to my clock. So there we are. I must wind that. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Guys, new schedule. An hour in the morning, an hour in the evening. This is because people are working. So think the way McClue thinks, logic, logic. And um, people are coming in tired uh they'll be going to bed a little bit sharper but they'll sit up and go oh, okay 10 o'clock just want to hear the end of scotty you know that sort of idea so i think so we'll chuck it a uh, eight till nine at nights and um 10 in the morning still all right till 11. uh sorry for repeating myself twice scotty i put it in a previous message Excuse my impatience. No, Glenn, a lot of people think that. They go, you're not talking to me then. Because there's quite a delay, apparently, depending on the time. So there we are. So it just depends on what time. And there's quite a delay. We heard it for Canada, which is understandable. But very interesting. The wonderful Pat Simpson is watching Dinky Do Pat. Good morning. I hope you're well. 
top lady. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. More likes, please, guys, and let's have some shares. We haven't had a share all morning. What on earth is going on? I'll share on Facebook. There we are. Let people know that we are live now. And if everybody else can do the same, guys, I know it's early in the morning and people are a bit, oh, what's she doing on? I thought it was night she went on. Do that eye stuff in the morning. The, the light. I'll light off just now. <laughs> uh, there we are. A wee bit of a headache. Um, so are you okay with people putting messages up twice to make sure they get read out? No, Glenn. They'll get read out anyway. I don't think I've ever missed a message. People are going, you're missing messages. It's like, no, they haven't arrived yet. There we go. Glenn, my friend who committed suicide, his family went to a psychic. And I think it was nonsense saying things like no more flowers at the grave. Didn't want a Catholic burial instead of a humanist one. Uh, so there we are. Oh, very interesting. Yes, probably not the best time to go to a psychic when you've just lost a child. But did you listen to the breakfast show on the New Times Radio? which started at 6 a.m. this morning. I haven't gone, but I will do, because they've got a very, very good lineup, and I congratulated them the other day. You know, it's wonderful. I always do with the radio industry. I wish them all, all the very best, because it's a struggle out there for all industries, because the audience are so fragmented. I mean, we're, we might be small but beautiful. You know what I mean? That's perfect. This live stream is perfect. I tell you, I did see God, no names, no pack drill. I saw another phone in this morning, and um, it was it was very lackluster. So there you are. I saw it on my, uh, I saw it, when I say I saw it, I saw it on my stream, and it was very lackluster. And part of McClue thinks, for goodness sake, let me in there and do a proper phone in. You know, and let's get some chat going. But, you know, that will not be too many frightened wee souls out there running these setups, you know. So there we are. Morning, Scotty. I hope you're well. This is the wonderful Stephen Menzies. Stephen Menzies, you're just the man I was looking for. We're always looking for you, and we've missed you a lot recently. Pat Simpson, Barry Smith. Wonderful having you with us. Dinky do. I was right, David. Hello, Catherine. Catherine Raven, good morning, Scotty. How are you? I like these morning shows. Hi, Kareem. Absolutely everybody loves them. I have not had a single piece of negative feedback from anybody with any common sense. I mean, you obviously get the idiots going, how come you're no on late at night and uh, during the night? And all that sort of idea. Morning, Scotty. Uh, Stephen Menzies, I'm looking for terminology here. Did we used to call a little engine in the shunting yards a pug? Am I right? Uh, do tell. So there we are. Catherine's come on. Times Radio. Yes, it's uh, a radio station set up by the Times newspaper. So there you are, News UK. So that's uh, the one, and it's got some big names on it politically. Uh, so there might be some quite good political chat on there. Um, I mean, no names, no pack drill, but I have noticed a drop in quality on another um, big flagship station uh, that does talk and news and all that sort of stuff. I've noticed a drop in quality, but then that might be the lockdown as well. Scotty, did you see there's a new radio station starting in Glasgow at the start of August? So there we are. Uh, maybe a wee chance to get the massive mighty megaphone in up and running again. So there we are. David Taylor, very interesting, and he mentions a famous broadcaster. Having said that, YouTube is brilliant. Well, David, I would say this is the future, and this is the future for Scotty McClue. I'll be absolutely honest with you, because during lockdown, we've been able to try out a lot of things, because if it didn't work, I would just chuck it. You know, but the thing is, it works extremely well. And when I left Grampian Television uh, to go down to Border Television in Carlisle and then up to Scottish Television, I can remember coming in in the morning 
and the announcer before a very big name had written on a wee note on my desk, good morning, good luck for the future. Remember, the winner never quits and the quitter never wins. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely, lovely person. Uh, John Marshall. Uh, yes, I still call it a pug. Stephen Menzies, yes. And do you see the little diesel pugs now? Is that right? Or do we have an electric pug? It's my cousins. I'm so glad I got that. I got that right. So there we go. Scotty, please forgive me for repeating myself twice, big man. I will be patient in the future. Wait until my message gets read. No, listen, I don't mind if it comes up again. I'll just say, well, I did read this before, but I'll read it again. Share, 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 folks. Absolutely. Uh, so there we are. Tom Peden has got Jim up. Excellent, Tam. Uh, good morning, Scotty. How are you? I hope this is not uh, not one of your uh, jests, Tam, because I know you can be a jester. Our old diesel shunters are also called 350s because of their horsepower. These are British Rail Class 08, but I still call them pugs. And what would you say, Stephen? Would you say, can we get a wee pug up here to, to shunt this stuff out the road? That's an idea. Move the points and things. Brilliant. Ah, wonderful stuff. Um, share, share, share. Scotty, do you think the morning pop-ups will stop and be more focused on nights and weekends? Well, Kareem, I think that might come. Uh, so there you are. David Taylor says, Kareem, sad about your friend. Thank you, David. So there we are. Gordon Robertson asking about a broadcaster on Scott FM. Yes, absolutely, Gordon. He was. Um, I worked with him. Very fine chap. Uh, thank you, David, says Kareem. Good, Kareem. Excellent stuff. Um, no, no, Jim's real. He's from Sheffield. Oh, okay, Tim. Uh, he owes John Marshall a car. Oh, I'm sure a lot of people owe John Marshall a car. So there we are. <laughs> Do you see what I just did there? How good is that? Wonderful stuff. Uh, Morris Scotty, your voice wakes me up. I can't believe I'm still yawning, but I wake for you. I sure came up. I think uh, people get a wee bit tired during a lockdown. Oh, my goodness. Is that the time? Scotty McLuhan! Oh! Uh, so there we are. Good morning from a rainy Liverpool, says the wonderful ABC. Morning, ABC. Lovely to have you with us. Love the bones of you. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us on the Facebook, welcome. We're just talking to our friends from Liverpool. There we are. Scotty McLuhan live on YouTube just for you. Thanks, Glenn. No, I think it's been a bit of a silver lining because it's proved there's a huge demand for Scotty McClure on YouTube and on Facebook. And therefore, I think that's the future. Sorry, I've been a bit busy. 3G is sporadic. Went down the West Coast, haven't been able to go on 3G. My goodness, does anybody remember 3G? David, what type of radio station starting in Glasgow in August? Says Gordon. So there we are. Thanks, Glenn. Says Kareem, um, Glenn was extending his sympathies to Kareem for a loss of a friend who took his own life. So sad. Guys, there's always something you can do. Come on, have a wee chat here, right? I mean, I'm no expert or specialist or anything, but um, I have a lot of experience of talking to people. But that's all. That's all I'll say. Think everyone's tired because of Monday morning. Right, let's pop the kettle on of a cup of tea. I was like, well, I'm all right, Kareem. You carry on. I've got I've got myself one here. I've run out of Earl Grey, then I'll need to pick some up. I'll need to queue up at the pound shop. Social distancing. <laughs> so there we are. Yes, what do you think of the Times Radio thing starting today? Scott is his ABC. Well, I love the idea of ABC. I haven't heard it yet. But uh, I did send them many congratulations. Good luck for launch on Twitter. If you're on Twitter, guys, follow at Scotty McClue. If you're on TikTok, follow at Scotty McClue. If you're on Instagram, Scotty McClue 1. Yes, the YouTube channel has 804 videos. Video and audio. So there we are. I think it's called uh, Max Radio Glenn. 
Seems like all different slots on it. Just thought Scotty phone in would fit perfect. A Scotty phone in fits anywhere. And I'm not saying that because I'm Scotty. I'm just saying the demand is huge. It's, uh, it's very, very interesting, you know. So there we are. You missed John's shout-out request, Scotty. No, I didn't. Can I get a shout-out for the Lion Tamer? So there we are. Of course you can. Yes, Thomas, very rude. Thomas is not rude, John Marshall. Uh, yes, when I was a signalman at Motherwell, we covered Moss End Yard. The pug was also called the pilot. Pilot to number three road, catch traffic into 292 road. That made up the train for the south. Was a uh, Seymour. <laughs> Got to watch Seymour's in case I lose the broadcast. The equipment's so sensitive. Um, Catch traffic 292 made up the train. Was also busy shunting trains at the former Ravens Craig. Yeah, you see, Scotland was set up. Am I not right in saying the heavy industry had uh, huge rail links? I mean, Greenock had rails running down from um, the foundry. And I think when the Rankin and Blackmores built the engines for the Waverley, they probably ran them down to the dock on a railway. <coughs> I would have thought so. I don't know, though. Send Johnson out for the Earl Grey. ABC. What a good idea. Fantastic. I'll shout Johnson in my Liverpool voice. Is that all right? Johnson, I won't love the bones of you if you don't get out and get us some Earl Grey tea. Have you got it? All right, lad. No, I don't have any money at the moment. Is there none in the tea tin? Right. There should be over two quid in the tea tin. Oh, okay. He says, I don't have the money, so, so there we are. See if they'll give you an sick. There we go. Uh, I've got my coffee, Scotty, shared on Facebook, now on Instagram, friends. Milk, no sugar for me, Kareem, says David. Kareem, would you like a wagon wheel with your tea? Oh, wagon wheels. I, I think they're a wee bit smaller than they used to be. We used to go along to a Saturday cinema, the film club on a Saturday, guys. <laughs> John Marshall, you can't say that. Oh, John Marshall, I'm shocked. Shot at you. Um, Helen McCannon, dinky doo, from Jacqueline McFarlane. Princess Dock, the tunnels are still there today. Let's see what John's moaning about here. Now we saw. Good morning, Scotty, says Gene Smith. Yes, John Marshall. We did that. It's my cousin's 30th birthday today. He's in Sydney. Can you stick the hat on and give it a bit of the Oz patter? He's known as Puppet. There you are, John Marshall. What a lovely guy McClue is, and you were cheeking up. <sighs> naughty, naughty. Uh, have we got the Oz hat? Do you know, I don't have the Oz hat. I'll tell you why. It was so hot the other day. I had to do a wee bit of grass. I'll, I'll rephrase that. I had to mow the lawn. And um, I had to put on my, uh, my Oz hat. My jackaroo. So there you are. So you stick on your jackaroo, John Marshall. Who can't, he's saying. So there we are. <laughs> what a shame. So there we go. Right, that's John. Um, now then, oh, a wagon wheel, I was telling you. So I went to the film club Saturday morning. The Arts Guild in Greenock. One shilling to get in, 5p. And you saw, oh, several movies. Cowboy movie. Um, not politically correct now, I don't think. Um, North American Native Indians getting clobbered by the cowboys. Tut, 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 tut. Uh, so not so good nowadays. But there was a guy who used to strap an, an aqualung to his back and shoot into space. And I think he was called Rocket Man. And we used to see that and we got uh, a bottle of Lemmy ginger in Glasgow. Ginger for you, Gordon Robertson and um, a bottle of Lemmy and a wagon wheel and they were um, thruppins I think they were thruppins or fourpins what would thruppins be so thruppins would be one and a quarter pence penny farthing oh 
Kareem's turned on the tea order today. All right, Catherine, yes, if you want tea, shouting Kareem. Hi, J-Dog, good morning. J-Dog was looking back at your first stream on YouTube back in February the 4th. I was there and recognised by yourself, but not nearly as much as now. Thank you, Scotty. Not at all, J-Dog. It's great stuff. A friend of mine said, he said, are you just talking and shouting out names and dinky do? I said, this is what the people want. It's just a chat. And it's lovely to hear your name on the telly. And when people are watching on a big telly, you know, they're part of it. It's the people's stream. Do you know what I mean? There's enough media of, hi, it's us, and you just do what you like. You know, I mean, get out there and talk to the people. That's what the media used to do. When I started an independent radio, I started in the finest station in the world. I started 28 years ago tonight. 28 years ago tonight. Scotty McClue. First Scotty McClue show. 28 years ago tonight. Is that not amazing? Yeah. And um, the station was all for the listeners. The jocks were never off the phone to the listeners. They used to go, I'll have to go, love. My record's finishing. You know, all that. My song's finishing. It was records. It was all discs. And we cured them up. And then that was your next one. Who can't? Says John Marshall. What are you talking about, John? Hi, Scotty, says Erin Foy. Think you do, Erin. Lovely to have you with us. Love brewing up on the local foot plate. Still get my tea can, railway tea. Strong and sweet. Did they get the water out the boiler then, Stephen? <coughs> wow. Um, hi, Catherine. How are you this morning? Hello, Fast Pat. Hi, everyone. Uh, Fast Pat, hurry, hurry, hurry. There we are. David Taylor, don't forget the biscuits. Hello, Kareem. Kareem running late today, says Fast Pat. Fast Pat, you never run late. You're too fast for that. There's a former MP, so there we are, doing a similar show on to this on YouTube. Found him the other night whilst looking for this. Ah, Gordon Wright. Well, there you are. Well, I hope you don't prefer him to me. So there we are. We don't have any of that. Congratulations on your anniversary, says the wonderful Stephen Menzies. Yes. So, um, four weeks ago was 30 years since I set up Centre Sound Radio, Central FM in Stirling. And um, what did we got last week? The anniversary of me going down to negotiate the job <coughs> by invitation. And uh, I was invited to do that job. I, I didn't apply. J-Dog, not yet. And then I had to apply. And I got the job. The other man is a bigger hat. So there we are. Excellent stuff. And um, that's 28 years ago tonight. And, you know, I've never been run over by a tractor, but I think that's what it would feel like doing your first phone-in and replacing somebody who was very famous and a very, very big name. So there we are. Uh, yes, so you used to brew up on the foot plate. The other man is a bigger hat, says Gordon Robertson. I know who you mean. So there we are. And my answer to his, uh, my answer to his phrase is that Scotty McClue is the daddy of them all. So there we are. And uh, it got me banned from his Twitter. Yes, congratulations today, Scotty McClue. Hope we have many more years of chat show. The legendary Scotty McClue. Catherine Raven, thank you very much, because you'll have found out that although I might not be the springiest of spring chickens, the show is just the same. Yes, quality chat with lovely people. Congratulations, Scotty, on 28 years. Robster, many, yes. I remember talking to an old boss of mine, the guy that hired me, and uh, I said, uh, I mean, it's a bit, I said, you know, I'll only probably get about 30 years out of the media. Is that, it's not fair. And he said, Scotty, some people just get a year. He says, eight years was a long career in broadcasting. You know, if you get eight years. So there we are. I understand the reference to parents, says Gordon Robertson. Scotty, that's fabulous. Congratulations. Thank you for keeping us all entertained. Fast Pat, 
Not at all. You know, we're not as outrageous as we were, obviously, because we're in people's hooses. <laughs> Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just needed a little space. J-Dub! I once went for a job at NASA, you know, and they said, what do you think this job's about? I said, well, it's not rocket science, is it? You know, J-Dog, lol, lol, says Rob Stromeni. J-Dog is very good at the jokes, I have to say. Folks, I need to watch uh, what I am on a diet, trying to muscle and tone up. I'll give you a bit of my muscle. I'm 18 stone of solid muscle, Kareem. There we are, front row of the scrummer. So, sorry, second row I was, second row prop. Um, there we are. No sugar in your tea then, Kareem. Do you know, I had a, a wonderful joiner. He came to do a bit of work in the house, and this guy was old school. He was spot on then. I found out he was in his 80s then. I've heard he's just retired, and he's 96. And I, I said, would you like a cup of tea? And he said, I, I'll have six sugars. I said, you need to cut down on that. I said, you'll give yourself diabetes, right? In 96, he's in great health, right? And he said, um, oh, and he was as thin as a rake. I wasn't a pick on him. <laughs> very, very fit man. Wonderful. Working at, uh, at 95, 96, like Prince Philip. Shout Johnson in a Yorkshire accent to get some Jaffa cakes and some PG tips. There we are. Well, that's advertising, of course, but I'll let uh, <coughs> shout out. Hey, Johnson. Aye, that's it. Aye, get us some, uh, get us some tea bags, eh? And uh, get us some of them little biscuits, you know, with dark chocolate on top, and sort of nice orange marmalade filling, and a bit of sponge on back, eh? That's it, aye. All right, aye. Oh. Aye. Is that any good? Any good for Yorkshire? <laughs> Same here, Jay Dog. I like the shows in the mornings. There are no daft days. They're probably not a week. They're not a week. No, no. They are lying in their bobos till about half two in the afternoon. So there we are. So any good was the Yorkshire accent. Any good for shouting Johnson? It's going to be interesting to see the age of people when they die in the future due to technology. Do you mean technology might kill them? with all the stuff. Well, I suppose we are living, we are living um, in a, a Wi-Fi environment. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. You know, I always say to young people, please do not put your phones, they've all got a pocket in the shirt. I say, don't put your phones in there because that's you got, what's in there? They go, your heart. That's you got a very powerful radio transmitter just about half an inch from your heart. Same when you're on the phone for a long time. A very powerful transmitter just beside your brain, you know. No, people are living longer and longer. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. Well, there we are. Nothing's been proved about the technology. Everybody like that. <clears throat> Guys, uh, update on the schedule if you've just joined us. We do an hour in the morning and an hour at night from now on because people are going out to work. Don't worry about the advertising, Glenn. I got round it. I was accent. Uh, no people are living longer and longer since Kareem. Yes, absolutely. There's so many stations on DAB. Some of them appear for a short time only. But I suppose they still need a license to get in DAB. You need a license, Gordon. And um, had I not had a stewardship problem with L107, we would have been able to renew our license and get on DAB. And L107 would still have been going. But we had a stewardship problem, as everybody knows. 28 years, Scotty. Where does the time go? Congratulations. David Taylor, 28 years. Uh, not 28 since we came to Scott FM. That would be 26 in December. It's 25 years now since I came to Scott FM. And I spoke to somebody the other night, I said, if I did a live show, assuming lockdown finishes, if I did a live show in a theater, would you go? And he went, to see you? Oh, I. <laughs> and I thought that was a nice reaction, 
because he could have said, no, Scotty, things have moved on, you know. All that fantastic, Scotty, says Glenn. Congratulations on your 28 years in broadcasting. The Glenn, well, it's actually 36 years in broadcasting. 1984 ITV. <coughs> oh, dear me. I have just looked at the time, though, guys, and we're doing an hour before we get 10 minutes left. How tough is that? Right. Um, congratulations on your anniversary. Yes, on the steam locos, we used the hot water. On the diesels and electrics, you made it and kept it on the electric plate to keep it hot. Have you ever toast? You'll have a toast on a train. Fantastic. Lumps of wood, uh, you and custard. Lumps of wood, you and custard, Kareem. Lumps of wood, you and... Is John Marshall cheeking up a wee bit? I don't know why. There we are. We'll not put him in time out just now. I'll take that comment out. There we are. I don't know, John Marshall. I'm surprised at that. A couple of cheeky comments. Thank you, John. Says Kareem. Yes, I don't think it was a compliment, Kareem. Lumps of wood. Congratulations on your 36 years in broadcasting. Absolutely. Well, actually, it's a wee bit more than that. <laughs> I had my first radio station when I was nine. I built it with the help of my dad. And you could uh, hear it in the garage, apparently. On My dad had a, he had a 1962 or 63 it was a B registered in the old Bs. And he had a Bunt Almond Singer Vogue estate. Very classy. And in it was either a Motorola or a Radio Mobile uh, push button radio. It was a gorgeous thing. And a VHF radio on it. And you could hear me broadcasting from about six feet away on that. It was, it was incredible. Scott, I remember listening to you, Scott FM, as a kid, says Robert Scrimger, and being told this guy will go far. You're more than excelled in your profession. I've loved every second of it, Robert. There have been very tough times, of course. Uh, there was absolutely no reason to uh, finish it at Scott FM. That was shocking, shocking, shocking behaviour by uh, one or two individuals. And... Um, uh, can we say the name of the new radio station from Glasgow in August? Yes, you can say that in August, Kareem. Yes, absolutely. Um, so, guys, are we happy with the new schedule? We start. I saw you had a pit lockery mug. A lovely place. Enjoyed the salmon ladder and the Christmas light show. Yes, wonderful. Yes, I used to live up in pit lockery. Brian McCarran's watching. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo. How are you? Lovely to have you with us. So, there you are. Uh, so, uh, Kareem, did you thank John? Did you think that was a compliment? Um, so there we are. Max Radio, I think it's called Kareem. Yes. Thanks, David. Absolutely. No problem at all. Um, no, there's lots of services, but also what I meant to say, Gordon, it's very expensive to go on uh, a digital mux, and very often the quality gets reduced because it's a bit cheaper or there's too many stations on it. My sister bet me £15 I couldn't make a car out of spaghetti. You should see the look in her face as I drove past her. <laughs> Robster, that's a cracker. We love it. Scotty, have you had your breakfast yet? A pre-show scran. No, 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 because obviously I'm a bag of nerves speaking to the world. I don't like to eat before the show. So, <laughs> you know, in case I, I have trouble relaxing and talking to you guys. Uh, what did you prefer, television or radio? Well, I think television gets a little bit tedious because people whisper when you're walking down the road, especially when you're an ITV newscaster. People go, yes. Swiss. They do that sort of stuff. But with Scotty McClure, I've never had a problem in television because people know they can talk to Scotty. So they don't whisper behind the hands. They shout, hey, Scotty, your show's nonsense, by the way. So, yeah, but you obviously love it. Aye, big man. <laughs> What's your favourite biscuit? Mine's the custard cream. 
the custard cream. Some biscuits are mean to dip in tea, some aren't like the rich tea. They, they, can, they dissolve. Yeah, but how many of us actually finish our tea? I always do, even with the, the dissolved digestive at the bottom. Knock the lot back. That biscuit at the bottom there, because <laughs> it falls off. Uh, what about the, uh, the the custard fingers? You dip them as well. Very nice. Wonderful. Danny McNeil's watching. Thank you, Danny. If I'd known you, I would have taken you around Pit Lockery signal box with its single line token instruments. I've seen them, Stephen. A very brave person stands with their arm out, and the is it the guard or the driver picks up the token. I'll tell you where I saw it. Could it have been Kinloch Ranach? Or Karur Station. Is it Karur Junction? Right. <clears throat> I went to walk around Loch Ossian one day. And I got the train from Kinloch Ranach to Karur. Would that be right? And they swapped a token. There we are. Lady stood out, had her arm out with the token on it. Yes, it was like a it was like a a, a ring. Um I'll have a look, Kareem, get back to you. I might be getting the name wrong. There we are. Wonderful, wonderful. Thanks, David. My face drops when my digestive biscuit breaks into my coffee stroke tea. So sad. It's tragic, J-Dog, but there's probably more worries in the world if we're honest about it. But I know what you mean. I hardly recognise you reading the news on TV. Have you written books, Scotty? Catherine Raven, I've started one. If you want to hear chapter one, Pop into your YouTube, Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil. All right? Stick that in, Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil. It's very, very interesting, the start. I've got the rest of it in my head, and a top agent is very interested. There we are. So it's wonderful stuff. It's interesting, isn't it? Just how the world works. What a joy it's been this morning, guys. What a fantastic show. David Taylor's all three big smiles. <laughs> now, there we are. And, uh, oh, Catherine, I mean, I've been very, very fortunate. I've been very lucky. And that's just the public jobs I do. Yeah, I also do a lot of uh, things privately and um, teach a lot of people how to speak. So there we go. And presentation work, media work, all that sort of stuff. You know, can you imagine getting a lesson off Scotty McClue? Who's your who's your who's your uh, teacher for your presentations for media? Uh, Scotty McClure. Oh, <laughs> it's wonderful. But uh, W H Auden taught in Helensburgh. What time are you streaming tonight? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. on the dot J Dog. I know you'll be there 8 p.m. sharp. Yes, correct. The West Highland Line swamped tokens. But now electronically done from, listen to how I pronounce this, Banavi box, known as RETB signaling. There we are, remote electronic time-based signaling. No? Correct me, just made that up. Unless I'm already on my dindins. Well, of course, absolutely. Sing us out, Scotty. Yes, I'll have to sing you out, guys. We'll have to do. Everybody join us tonight, 8 o'clock sharp for one hour. Le Bonheur du Jour avec Scotty McClue. There we are. Uh, or if it was Gallic, we'd say Falchi, Falchi, Key de Mille Falchi. Don uh, YouTube. I guess Scotty McClue. I guess, I guess Facebook Live. I guess Dinky Do. Right, my darlings, I'm going to have to do. So, television or radio? Radio, you could just wear your old clothes, you know, a bit like lockdown. All that stuff. I used to sit there in my baffies with a dog lying under the bed. Rob Samari says, J'adore Scotty McClue. Oui, merci, merci, mon ami. Dinky do. That's it, guys. Got to shove off. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Dinky do, my darlings. Ta-ra, lads. 
See you tonight. Look forward to it. Have a gorgeous day. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Stay fabulous. Ta-da, lads! <laughs>